Today is gonna be like me talking while I get ready again and I decided that in these videos I want to show the end look because in the past I've just like gotten ready and then like you don't see how I look at the end so regardless if I'm done talking or not I will put how I like finally look at the end and yes I have tape on my eyes it's really uncomfortable so yeah because I want to tell you guys something that happened to me over the weekend and it girl I'm about to get into it but I wanted to do like a fun pink eye today I normally do like neutrals and stuff so I'm gonna do pink today so I might have to be a little focused but I feel like that's more of a challenge you know what I mean this weekend I got my first kidney stone and oh my fucking god that shit is no joke and I'll I'll tell you guys like the entire story of how it happened. So normally I I get frequent UTIs. I don't know why. Like I've had like, I don't know. Like at one point I had like a UTI for literally like a month. And so I'm kind of used to them. I don't really get them as much anymore. But like a year ago I would get them so often. Friday night or Friday, Friday morning I mean. I had woken up and things were fine, but by the time it was like lunch, I noticed that like my like lower back where like your kidneys are started to hurt. But at the time I didn't know it was my kidneys, I just thought like I had hurt my lower back because I have lower back problems. Ever since I transitioned and like gained some boobage, it has not helped. That's also not like unusual for me to have like a lower back pain, so I was just like whatever. Like, just chilling. I didn't notice anything, like, unusual. Again, like, I had the lower back pain, and it was, like, more annoying than painful, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just, like, irritating. So by the time it, it's nighttime, like, when I go to bed, I try and go to bed early because I have to wake up at 5.45 every morning, which... That's really early for me. I do not like getting up. So as I was going to bed, I noticed, like, I was laying there, turned everything off, which sucks. Something that I need to get better at is turning everything off because what I like to do at night is I like to watch YouTube videos and World Star. And especially those fighting videos, those get me fucking hyped and I'm not ready to go to bed after those. There was like no good videos, so I was just laying there and then I tried going to bed, holy fuck. So I was laying there and all of a sudden like, the pain became like not unbearable but like so distracting and like irritating that I couldn't go to bed. And so I ended up like staying up to like two because whenever I tried laying down like it was so... It just hurt. Like it went from kind of annoying to like hurting a little bit. Then flash forward to Saturday. I like I woke up, I still had the same like annoying little pain and but things were like okay, like I wasn't worried or anything. As I was driving over there, things were like fine, like I actually forgot about it. And then my mom and dad took us out to eat, just me and them because Joey was at work because we like to like explore like nearby restaurants especially that area we are very unfamiliar with and so as soon as we pulled into the restaurant and I got out this is when shit started getting real girl real as fuck I got out and I knew something was wrong instantly instantly all of a sudden had such an extreme urge to pee so bad like I can't even explain and I sat down instantly and I was like oh my fucking god meanwhile I just went to the bathroom right before I left and it took like 30 minutes to get there so going pee having to go pee really bad in 30 minutes is not normal so I did something that I never do I was like I was like mom can you go to the bathroom with me because I avoid public bathrooms like the plague. Especially after all that shit with like the transgender bathroom stuff. I try not to go in any bathrooms because I don't want to get jumped or something. So if I don't have to go bad, I'm not going at all. 
and it was so bad that I was like, I have to fucking go in there or I'm gonna pee or bleed whatever outside onto my clothes. Can you please come with me? Like, I'm gonna die. So we went and it was so bad, it hurt so bad. So after I got back from the bathroom, um, I had ordered water because at that point I thought it was a UTI and it was, and I know with UTI you're just supposed to drink a lot. So I ordered water, I had ordered a margarita, but I had like barely touched it because I felt so, like, I don't know. I just wanted like water, oh hold on. One second. Okay, so I ended up finishing my eye look. I hope you guys like it. I really, really like it. I've never done an eye look like this. Um, I feel like it complements my eyes. I don't know, that's probably conceited, but I had come back from the bathroom and things like got okay for a little bit, like probably like 15 minutes. And in that time I was able to eat my food and I started drinking my alcoholic beverage because I didn't want to waste it and I'm always down for some alcohol so I started slurping that shit up probably looked insane to all the people around even though there was like one other person things were looking up was what I want to say so we got our food got our shit got the fuck out and started heading toward its property so they had to make a quick stop even though it ended up being like 20 minutes but I waited in the car I don't know why, probably good thing that I did though, but I was sitting in the car and I noticed that the pain started slowly coming back. It was bearable at first, but it was a little frustrating. Like I was like, okay, well I thought I got over this. Why is it coming back? So I was sitting there and as like the minutes were going, like every five minutes I would say, the pain slowly started to increase. And then by the time they got back to the car and we started driving again, I was in excruciating pain. I was freaking out inside because I don't know where my parents' property is. There's no stores nearby. There's no hospital nearby. There's no nothing nearby. We don't even have internet, which is why I couldn't upload on the weekend. So if anything were to happen, girl, I don't think I would survive if it was that, that serious. There's no way. There's like no one nearby like I'd probably have to call a helicopter to get lifted like it's yeah but who knows I could probably be I'm probably being a little dramatic but it's not like in arm's length like I have a hospital like down the street from where I live so I don't know by the time we actually pulled into their property I got out of the car and I was like so close to passing out because of the pain like I felt like I was gonna puke I was like sweating bullets and I got into the RV and I laid on the couch and I literally was like just laying there in so much pain like I can't even explain in two words how painful it is I don't think you know unless you've had a kidney stone how painful it is because when I heard people who, ha who had kidney stones I was like yeah I'm sure it's like painful yeah like what the fuck ever but like it's no fucking joke I was laying there and I was in so much pain I was literally looking at the trees it's gonna sound so dramatic but hello welcome to the world of me I was laying there and I was literally looking at the trees like I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to look at trees not in pain ever again because I literally thought that I had a kidney failure it was that bad like it just felt like I was bleeding inside and that lasted for about 30 minutes. Um, Joey ended up picking cranberry pills up for me because that was all you can, that's all you can really get from a store unless you go to like the clinic or like a doctor's office. You can't get like prescription kidney stuff. So, so luckily the Mac, like the intense pain only lasted for about 30 minutes. And then we got a bottle of cranberry juice. I started chugging that shit. And after 30 minutes, it like went back down to like no pain and then after another 30 minutes it's it like slowly got painful again but it was not as bad as like the last episode so I was just laying there and I was like googling everything which don't do obviously but I was googling like am I die how much is a kidney transfer which by the way did you guys know that um, 
18 people die a day waiting for an organ transplant. I didn't fucking know that. That's like something I learned while I was going through all this. So I was freaking out. I didn't sit up because laying down seemed to like help a lot. I recommend doing that if you have a kidney stone, just like laying flat. So my mom, she was like, trust me, you don't have a kidney stone. Like, and so my mom was like, you don't have a kidney stone. It's just like a kidney infection. So after the pain went away, I was like fine for the weekend. Then flash forward to Sunday. This happened on, drove back here and I went to the bathroom. You guys. I peed out a kidney stone, and when that shit came out, I can't even explain. I'm trying like, to not get too TMI because like that's gross, but let me put it just, let me just like put it in simple terms. When I was peeing before the, the kidney stone came out, I was peeing and I was like, why is not that much pee coming out? Like, it was like something that was clogging the, sh the flow. And then all of a sudden I got like intense pain and then it shot the fuck out. And girl, that was disgusting. It was literally in the shape of like an arrow, like the kidney stone. Sorry, if I don't, then I don't. But if I do, it'll be right there. It was nasty and it was painful. And it felt like a stone too, which was gross getting it out of the toilet, but it was nasty. But now I'm just worried because I have to constantly drink because I've never had a kidney stone before. So yeah, now I'm just gonna be worried like if I ever feel like kidney pain or whatever, like if it's a UTI or is it a stone? But at least I know kind of what to look for, but I truly hope I never have to go through that again. I can't even imagine like, people who have, like, kidney stones that are, like, this big. Like, fuck that shit. Fuck that. Fuck no. Yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know if you've ever had a kidney stone before and your experience. And, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.